Remember those paper snowflakes maybe you made in elementary school? How detailed and intricate each edge was? Believe it or not, snowflakes look just as beautiful if you can get them maybe under a microscope. So your first question might be, how do you get them under a microscope without them melting? Well, our shivering Hannah Welker has the answer to that. Guys, I'm seriously hooked. This is so cool. I found a bunch of snowflakes. This one on the screen, I actually just found that, didn't I, Michael? Actually, it's her collection. She found it. She felt. She said, I'm an archaeologist out here. <laughs> I am. I feel like I'm an archaeologist of snowflakes. And it really does. It becomes a, a bit, you know, you become kind of obsessed with doing it because you want to find the next best thing. Michael, remind people of what we're looking for. You're looking for the ones without the rhyme, the rhyme. Or freezer burn, when the flakes fall. You know, they form in all kinds of different shapes and sizes and conditions, altitude, temperature, humidity. And so the ones that are clear, the ones without freezer burn, are, yeah. are the best ones to get. And okay, when let's they look fall, at. We catch. Um, but since the snow was yesterday, we picked up with a feather, <laughs> and now we're looking through our collection, and we found a few good flakes. There's one. We're over digging. Here on the microscope. Yeah. Should we look? And. It's on the screen, and what I like to do with my lighting is always these little crystals have internal facets and r structures, and so I can play with paper, and let's see how we can turn wow. the twinklies, and so different structural elements within the flake are being revealed by the location of the filter, uh, which is basically just a piece of recycled news and mail. Don't tell anyone. Oh, is this? That's what you do with our news, really? Yeah, Christmas cards are pretty <laughs> awesome, too. I can bring blues. Look how I can change the structure. I'll bring you all my junk mail, Michael. It's all, all yours. It. I've used orange juice tops from recycling. <laughs> Whatever seems to work. I'm not so much for the oranges. I like the uh, cool colors and okay. for snowflakes. As now, in. you teach students to do this, too. You have an actual snow shack, you snow call it? shack. Yeah, yeah, because we can't really control this event. And it's random, you know, like it's not snowing now, it's cold. Uh, the best snowflakes, for me at least, are between 15 and 20. Um, but today is zero or one, and the snow is already in the ground. I can't coordinate it. I can't put in a request for it to snow, so there's a a microscope that's in a, sha uh, a shack. <laughs> it's in a box that's <laughs> locked uh, so that it doesn't disappear and yeah. the students have the combination to the lock so if they're uh, ready and able, not in class, not on a job, not doing homework, they can run out hopefully and catch snowflakes and photograph them as part of a class as well. And what do they think of this? I mean, does do you think it gives people more of an appreciation for something that Rochester has so often during the year, do you think it gives people a bigger appreciation for it? I don't know. I, I have a really love-hate relationship with winter like everyone at this moment <laughs> in time. I mean, I have to deal with it in the same way. I just happen to have a hobby that makes me run out in the garage and act a little stupid once in a while because <laughs> <laughs> walking around with a baking pan and black velvet to catch snowflakes while they're falling and running here and stand alone. Hey, you could be darkness. doing dumber things, Michael. Yeah, I have a lot of fun with it. And it's been very giving. Can we check this? Can yeah, we absolutely. check these ones that I just found? real quick we've got a little bit more time we can we'll so check them out there it is look at that one uh, it's that's kind a, of a mutant a cutie it well kind of cute it's got some wings it's got a little structure in the middle that was the one but let's move over this way whoops I have to get that's the same one no we're gonna there it is that's the one that you liked Ooh. check it out that's pretty nice and if you'd like to follow Michael in, in what he does, his work and your photos, tell them your Instagram because it's become pretty popular. CNN, Time Magazine have found you as well. Yes, yes. Uh, so Instagram has been my voice. I put one snowflake picture uh, on Instagram every day. But and what, what's your Instagram handle? Uh, Michael underscore Paris. Michael underscore Paris. Follow him on Instagram. He's a snowflake sensation, guys. It's great. I'll toss it back to you guys.